I am going to present on the topic numerical analysis of electrically pumped SIGSN GSN quantum wave transistor laser in the show 2022. My name is Ravi Ranjan. This is the presentation outline. So the optical interconnects has been a potential solution to overcome the limitation of its electrical counterparts. In optical interconnects, we replace the wire to the waveguides and electron with the photons. So the uh, so the material is very important for this. Like design of suitable optical source is very important to make this technology successful. Finally, we use the third fifth base material uh, for the optical source. Uh, but uh, using Germany also we can make the optical uh, we can use as a optical source. Why? Because if you see the uh, germanium, the gap between the diode and indirect gap material is very small, around 0.14 electron volt. So this can be overcome by band gap engineering. In band gap engineering. Uh, we obtain the diode band gap using tensile strain and type doping and alloying. Like here we see, uh, using the incorporation of a small amount of SN into G, uh, we make a GSN LY uh, where, the, the, <coughs> where the gamma is, uh, is moving uh, faster downwards so that it makes a diode band gap material. Then, again, uh, using the tensile strain, brings the gamma value down further with respect to the L value and lift the less band and using the compressive strain, we just uh, see the reverse thing. So, uh, uh, so, the <coughs> so using these uh, things, uh, we can uh, use as germanium as a diagram gap material. Now, for the optical source, we use that, uh, we at transistor laser as a device because uh, if you see the charge population of transistor laser and uh, diode laser then we see the speed of the recombination process and the rate at which the photon escape from the cavity is very fast in transistor laser as compared to the diode laser. This is the basic structure of uh, transistor laser. Uh, we are a quantum well is sandwiched between the in the base region uh, and the quantum well and base act as a um, uh, barrier for this. So this is my uh, the uh, proposed structure of the transistor laser. Uh, <coughs> active region consists of undoped. Uh, uh, the germanium and GSN quantum well layer with SN incorporation of 16% uh, the N type GE and SIGSN uh, forms respectively the emitter and the collector uh, of the device and the width of the bell, uh, well and base region is a barrier region are calculated to with 10 nanometer each. Uh, here the schematic uh, of the carrier diffusion and the quantum capture in the quantum well and gamma connection band in the base region is shown. The captured carrier produces light uh, through the radiative recombination with the holes in the valence band and, the sol and solving the continuity equation and rate equation with appropriate boundary condition, the threshold base condensate is obtained. Like a simulation result, see the field distribution of transverse electric field uh, to show the optical confinement factor in the uh, active, in active region. The optical con confinement factor is not very good as 2.5% only for the single quantum well. So now as we calculate the JVTH, so if you see the graph, the JVTH increases with increasing compressive strain due to the combined effect of the sole current density NTH and quantum capture efficiency. As the strain in the well increased, differential gain G decreases and hence the NTH increases because the number of carriers is the because more number of carriers is required to achieve the threshold model gain. Quantum capture efficiency decreases when compressive strain increases which is shown in the inset of the figure also. Uh, this is mainly due to the effective band offset variation with the strain. Reduction in quantum capture efficiency means less number of carriers is captured into the well 
and so the high base current density jb is required to achieve the threshold uh, condition however however the effect of quantum capture efficiency is dominant in the case because it varies exponentially with the strain and the jvth increases with strain so any the conclusion theoretical model is developed for electrically pumped gsn sigs and nanostructural layer based upon uh, group 4 uh, middle infrared transistor laser Proposed model which to the effect of Poisson concentration of optical current. And here we get the threshold base current density 0.6 kilo ampere per centimeter square uh, for a uh, <coughs> uh, for a particular choice of device and material parameter. So this is the reference.